how Ahad in that verse only in the whole Quran suddenly became one when the whole Quran translate the word Ahad as any one or one off. You see the hypocrisy? How the word suddenly changed. Ahad always mean one off. You know, one off, uh, one of many, one of two, one of three, one of four, doesn't matter. He is one of others. So when Allah, he says, Allah is Ahad, well, that's, that's a problem and that's a mistake. So it might be that Allah or the verse saying, say that Allah is the same as Ahad. It's just another name for Ahad. No. You know, and when the Muslims, by the way, when the Muslims, they say Allah, uh, uh, Muhammad, he came for Tawheed, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, the, the, the Kaaba have 360 uh, uh, idols. So the way you unify, unify them all, we became, we, we made them all Allah. Is that what it's mean? This was me. Uh, by the way, uh, 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 David, mm -hmm. there's somebody posting bad. Uh, yeah, bad we got him. Blast yeah. wine, we know. Yeah. He okay. has no shame. But CP, to add to this point, guys, pay attention. Chapter 112 says Allah is one of. That's first mistake, proving Quran doesn't teach Tawheed. Now hold on there, Sam. Before you make such wild claims, allow me to actually teach you a lesson about Arabic morphosyntax. What Shimon is talking about here is the ayah in Surah Al-Ikhlas. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن الرحيم الله أحد in translation say he's Allah one he makes the claim that the word أحد means quote unquote one of such a claim though incurs many drastic absurdities that a linguist of no language is going to accept first the preposition of whose Arabic equivalent is min or an, depending on the context, is not found in the verse, so such a translation can already be discarded as a false one. Second, for ahad to mean one of, it would have to stand in conjunction with a preposition, which would then have to stand in conjunction with a noun, or linguistic attributive sentence, or it would have to stand in an idafa, a genitive connection relation, such as, for example, ahadul junudi, which would mean one of the soldiers. None of this is the case in the verse though. Finally, the best refutation of- You know why? Because you're a boy and you have no clue where the word Ahad comes from. Let me teach you where the word Ahad comes from, you boy. You Bosnian boy, you're finished, you're finished, you're finished. That's what Muhammad Hijab would have said, right? You should be ashamed of yourself, you Bosnian boy. And here is why. Your grandfathers and grandmothers, they suffered at the hands of the Ottoman Muslims. When they attacked your country at that time, the Kingdom of Bosnia, and the Kingdom of Bosnia fell in the year 1463. And they forced Islam on the poor Christians at that time. Christian men were butchered by the Muslims. And they took their wives and daughters as sex slaves. So you Bosnian boy, you Bosnian boy, you should be ashamed of yourself defending that same man-made cult that took your family, your mothers, your daughters as sex slaves back then. And you call yourself a man of honor and dignity. Shame on you. You're finished. You, you're finished. What have Mimi Hijab have said, right? Mr. Amin? You truly have no shame. You have no dignity and you have no honor to defend the man-made cult. The same cult that forced Islam back then on you and because your christian proud christian family never accepted islam they took the wives and their daughters as sex slaves only the cowards like you became muslims real christians would have never ever ever accepted islam now if we go to chapter 112 surat al-ikhlas Ayah 1, it says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَد But here, something is missing here after. Allah, or let's say the writer or the fabricator of the Quran, 
did not complete the sentence and here is why ahad means in the arabic one of why did muhammad actually use ahad and why did he not use wahid ahad and wahid is not the same word ahad means one of but one of what why are you not finishing the sentence or oh, uh, allah Allah, why didn't you finish the sentence? What do you mean by say he is Allah one of? What do you mean one of what? Many gods? Is that what you're saying? Many cars? Uh, many donkeys? Allahu alam. Allah knows best, right Muslims? But let me prove to you that Muhammad actually stole this word. He stole it from the holy bible from deuteronomy 6 4 let me prove it the word is not an arabic word ahad is not an arabic word it is directly stolen from echad one so muhammad took that word and he put it in the quran in surat al-ikhlas Chapter 112, Ayah 1. So, Echad means one. Unified, i.e. a compound unity. Did you catch it? So, like, let's say, i.e. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one God. This is why you can find the word Echad in Deuteronomy 6, 4. But... There is another word in the Hebrew language that is Yachid, which also means one, the only one, or in this case, the numerical one, i.e. one, two, three, the one, right? But Deuteronomy 6.4 used Echad, and that's unified. So we Christians don't have any problem with Echad. Because we believe that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one, unified, a compound unity. But when Muhammad stole that word and he put it in the Quran, he created a mass confusion. He created a disaster because here it says one off. It can be at least two persons or two things at least two two or more so ahad means one of many at least two so the echad here the echad is an hebrew word as we said right so allah if as if he was actually God, as the Muslims claim, he should have used Wahid. That is the correct and right word for one. Not Ahad. Did you catch it? But he used Ahad, which is a direct stolen word from the Echad, from Deuteronomy 6 4, let's say. So we Christians have no problem at all with Echad. The problem is for the Muslims in this case. This is most troubling for Jews, Muslims, right? I mean, and anti Trinitarians, since the word Yahid, the main Hebrew word for solitary oneness, is never used in the reference to God. So Yahid was not used. Echad was used in the Holy Bible for reference to our holy living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And as we explained, the word Echad was used in Deuteronomy 6.4, not Yahid. So Muhammad directly stole Echad, Ahad, from the Holy Bible. Did you catch it? That is the real meaning of Echad, Ahad, one off, right? 
We Christians have no problem with this word. But Muslims should have a problem with this word because the Quran, Allah, but we know it's Muhammad who fabricated the eyes of the Quran. He should have used Wahid, not Ahad. Thank you, Amin, for exposing the Quran, Allah, and Muhammad. Thank you. Let us continue. Secondly, CP, isn't it true in chapter 9, verse 31, it says that Allah wants people to take Him and Messiah as lords and no one else? Yeah, this is actually when, but when you, when you read the translation, it comes differently. Yes. They say, you take Allah and, and it's, yeah. So in Arabic, it says, you know, uh, 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 they are taking their monks and their rabbis as God instead of Allah and the Messiah. But the Muslims in their translation, they put it as they wish and they change it. So they make it no. They took their monks and their rabbis and Jesus as God instead of Allah. When the fact this is a fabrication. So you're saying the Arabic clearly, because you know the Arabic, the English, we don't know, we, we're English speakers for us. You're saying chapter 9 verse 31 says that the Jews and Christians, their mistake was that they took the rabbis and monks as lords besides Allah and the Messiah, meaning that Allah and the Messiah should be their one Lord. That's what the Arabic says? Yes, exactly. This is what the Quran is saying. The I confirm. In Arabic, and I changed Please. the most to say online. اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أرباب من دون الله والمسيح ابن مريم وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا إلها واحدا لا إله إلا هو سبحانه وتعالى. Here you notice by the way it says it clearly instead of the Messiah and Allah and then it says the word واحدا. You see the word one that is one واحد not أحد. That is the correct word. That's the correct word for the word one. That's true. واحد in that verse. Not a had. Let us address Christian Prince's first grade elementary school level. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. The grammar. Sam Shimon and CP attempt to make it seem that there is a purposeful mistranslation of the segment of the ayah which says min dunillahi wal masiha, wherein they claim that the correct translation is besides Allah and the Messiah, i.e., they claim that the Quran says that a group of people took their monks and rabbis as lords besides God and the Messiah, implying trinitarian. Now here you just prove to everybody that Allah or the writer of the Quran just lied about the Christians because the Christians did not worship their rabbis and monks. Real Christians only worship the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit as one God. So Allah or in this case Muhammad, the fabricator of the Quran, he was confused or in this case he lied about the Christians, the true Christians. Let us continue. Arianism. This is simply not the reality though, for a very simple reason. Cases. The Arabic language has three cases. Marfu', Marjur, and Mansub. In translation, nominative, genitive, and accusative. To skip all the grammar that was too boring for CP to listen to in class, I'm going to address the particular usage of the genitive and accusative Okay, teach us, teach us, teach us. Verse. First of all, when a preposition is used in Arabic and is then followed by a noun, it is a rule that the noun is then going to be in the majrur case and not the mansub case. Let me show you what I mean. If I said min dunil kitabi, I could only use the suffix i at the end of the word al-kitab. I cannot use the suffix a for the singular nouns after a preposition as then the noun would be in the mansub case. This means that I cannot say min duni al-kitab. So here is fooling anyone who does not know Arabic or speaks Arabic because the Dhamma, Fatha and Kasra that you see here underneath or on top of the Arabic words they did not appear in the Uthmanic Quran in the 7th century. They came much later, let's say in the late 9th and 10th century. Much too late. Do you understand? So they started to play with the Quran and add the Tashkil, the Dhamma, Fatha and Kasra much later too late after the 7th century 
because Uthman compiled the Quran and he gave the command to Zayd ibn Thabit to compile the Quran in the 7th century in nine perfect copies as if the Quran was not already perfect yet but that's off topic let it go let it go right Muslims so my challenge is I will give you one thousand dollars if you can find me a complete Uthmanic Quran from the seventh century mark my words a complete Uthmanic Quran Mus'haf from the 7th century that has Dhamma, Fatha and Kesra, Tashkil in the Arabic words, in it. Can you find me one? I challenge you to find me one. Do you see how he's fooling everybody, people? Did you catch it? This is deception, this is Taqiyya 101. Thank you, Mr. Amin. Thank you, but we are immune for lies and deception in 2019. It's almost 2020. Wake up, Muslims. Do you see the deception right here? Let us continue. Now, since this guy claims to know Arabic better than our brother, Christian Prince, and he's trying to act tough and try to show everybody that his Arabic is better than a native Arabic speaker like Christian Prince. Let us see if this Abdul can read the Quran of his dead moon idol, Allah, the correct way. I mean, he's the Muslim. He claims to know Arabic better than Christian Prince and all of us. <laughs> Let's see if he can actually read the Quran of Allah as a Muslim the correct way. In the Mansub. Now let's look at the ayah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani ar-rajim. Ittakhadu ahbarahum wa ruhbanahum arbaban min dunillahi wal masiha ibn Maryam wa ma umiru illa liya'budu ilahan wahidan la ilaha illa hu. Who? You said who? Who? Is that the way to read the ayah? <laughs> it's huwa. You see? Huwa. Not who. Guys, what did he say? La ilaha illa hu. Sub Again? La ilaha illa hu. Who? It's huwa. <laughs> you scumbag. F next time, try to learn to read the Arabic. Then, when you have a fully grown beard like Mimi Hijab, then come back and try your luck out and correct someone, a master in the Arabic and Islam like Christian Prince. <laughs> Thank you for this comedy. Thank you for watching guys and God bless. Hua, 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 Hua,